Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers have identified a gene associated with sleep loss. Loss of sleep can cause all sorts of problems in both the short term, reduced alertness, irritability, impaired memory, and the long term, obesity, high blood pressure, depression. But our understanding of what causes chronic sleep loss and how to treat it may have just been increased thanks to a study focused not on humans, but on fruit flies. Like humans, fruit flies depend on a good night's sleep and can suffer if they don't get it. Researchers at Florida Atlantic University have found that the TSN gene, which codes for the protein translin, plays an important role in modulating sleep in response to metabolism. Specifically, it was found to keep fruit flies awake while they were hungry. Fruit flies who had the translin gene silenced were still able to sleep normally despite being hungry. The FAU researchers determined that blocking the translin gene doesn't block the perception of hunger, merely the sleep-suppressing effect that accompanies it. This could have significant implications for the treatment of sleep deprivation of humans whose sleep habits are remarkably similar to those of fruit flies. The study is published in the journal Current Biology. Next up, scientists have developed a better method for splitting water molecules that could lead to the production of clean, renewable fuels. Splitting water into its constituent elements of hydrogen and oxygen is essential for storing energy from electricity produced by solar or wind generators. This process requires the use of catalysts, which up until now have been made from rare and expensive metals. New research from scientists at the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory and the University of Toronto finds that a catalyst can be made using cheaper, more readily available metals, such as iron, tungsten, and cobalt, and that it will be three times more efficient than catalysts currently in use. The researchers who developed this catalyst for splitting water are hoping to use the same method to create a catalyst capable of splitting carbon dioxide, which could allow the most abundant human-emitted greenhouse gas to be used in the production of clean renewable fuels. That would be very good news. This study is published in the journal Science. And finally, the results of some new research are very encouraging for the ongoing quest to develop an HIV vaccine. Scientists at the Scripps Research Institute, the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative, and the Lajala Institute for Allergy and Immunology are developing a vaccine strategy that trains the body's immune system to activate special B cells, which produce antibodies capable of broadly neutralizing HIV. Almost everyone has B cells that are precursors to those that produce those broadly neutralizing antibodies, but only a select few are capable of producing those antibodies naturally. Now researchers have designed an immunogen capable of activating those specific B cells capable of producing broadly neutralizing antibodies. Research so far has been encouraging, and a phase one clinical trial is upcoming. This study is published in the journal Science. A genetic cause of sleep loss is identified, a cheaper and more efficient method of splitting water is developed, and new research may finally lead to an effective vaccine against HIV. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time, won't we, Adi? You're goddamn right.